Welcome to today's video. If you clicked on the video, you know what you're here for. I am going to show you ways on how you can save money on your little one's birthday, or at least the ways that I saved money on my daughter's first birthday. So the first thing I wanted to do was get a tassel garland. And the focal point of this tassel garland was going to be her high chair. We got the Ikea $20 high chair and we used all the accessories from Yeah Baby Good. I wanted something that would flow with that. Now, when I looked on Etsy, tassel garlands were anywhere between $30 to $50 once shipping was included, and I just couldn't bring myself to purchase something like that. If you are in the position to support small shops and local businesses, please do so, please do so. But I'm not in that position, so I decided to make them myself. I actually was on a random trip to Dollar Tree and saw different colored yarns that worked really well with the aesthetic. So I purchased those yarns and I actually did a DIY tassel. All you do is you wrap the yarn around either a DVD case or a book and you wrap it until you get the desired volume. Then you slip it off, you tie the top portion of it, you cut the bottom so that way you get the tassels and then you put a small ribbon in between or a rope in between and you tie it at the top and now you have one tassel. And you just keep doing that with different colors. This is the one that I did. You will see pictures similar to this on, um, on Pinterest. And a lot of them have these wooden beads. Now I don't know where they get them, but I got mine from Michaels and I did, I. I made a mistake. I got ones, let me show you. I don't even know what these are supposed to be, but they're not wooden beads. So this is what they look like. They are have a hole on this side, but they don't have a hole on this side. So I don't know what they're supposed to be used for, but it's not what, it's not a bead. So I actually, the closest Michaels to me is about 45 minutes away. So I was not going back. So I actually chiseled each individual bead and that's how I got it through the yarn. And each one of these colors was a dollar from the dollar store, except um, this beige one was actually rope that I used for our Christmas presents, so I had a lot extra. So definitely look around your house if you have extra supplies somewhere, you can use that in what you're trying to do. And then the tan one I got from Michaels for like $1.50. So total, I probably spent seven, eight dollars on this tassel garland rather than $30, $50, if that makes sense. The next thing I wanted to do was create a balloon garland, but I wanted a boho color earth tone balloon garland and you can't really find too many of those unless you go on Etsy, but again, those are a little bit on the pricier side for me anyways. So I did go on Amazon and Amazon's such a hit or miss with balloon garlands. The earth tone balloon garlands, ugh, it's hard to find. So one I did find, and I don't know if this is gonna turn out great. I guess we'll see here in the next clip on her actual birthday, but this is a blush or it says it's a blush color. I knew from the reviews it was not blush, it was peach or like, yeah, it was peach. But there are different variations of sizes. So there's like a really big one, a medium one, and small ones. And I'm hoping that because of the different sizes, it will have different pigments. And this like peach vibe will be more like, it will flow better. So we'll see how it turns out, but definitely I think the color is still going to go with the aesthetic and I will link the specific balloon garland down below if you end up liking if I end up liking the next clip you know it's down below okay so because of the balloon garland and because of the other balloons that I got I wanted to get a balloon pump I got this one from Target for $3.50 four dollars and I'm kicking myself in the butt because I went to the dollar store and you'll, you'll notice, I mentioned the dollar store a lot. I went to the dollar store and they have this exact balloon pump for a dollar. So go to the dollar store and get yourself a balloon pump. If you're gonna use any of these ideas, you're definitely gonna need it. Also, while I was at the dollar store, I saw the numerical number one 
and I also saw one spelt out, which I'm kicking myself in the butt because I wish I knew that because I got the number one balloon from Amazon and not that it was super expensive, but save money where you can. Balloon pump, dollar store, okay? Okay. So this is what I was talking about. I got the number one spelt out and I got this from Amazon for $4. You can keep it rose gold, but I'm actually going to paint it to match the aesthetic better. So do yourself a favor and don't get this from Amazon or anywhere else. I also saw this exact one at Target for $6. This one was $4.50 and you can go to the dollar store and get it for a dollar. I don't, I can't speak to the quality though. It's honestly just going to be used for a picture. So I'm not really worried about the quality, but yeah, I did get this one from Amazon and I will link this one down below, but I'm just trying to help you out go with the cheaper option okay it's just it's just a balloon it's okay this is where I splurged a little bit a little bit okay I really wanted rainbow balloons and here here was my thought process okay I was planning on just buying the skinny balloons from Amazon and making rainbows out of that but none of the packages I was seeing had the colors I wanted I wanted earth tone colors and every package because it comes with like 150 balloons for like eight dollars so if you aren't going with these colors and you're doing more like a true rainbow vibe go on amazon and get yourself a pack of, of skinny balloons and you can make different rainbows because they come with so many this is where i said okay it's time to go on etsy so i went on etsy and first of all i just want to say i decided this last minute this Etsy shop is so quick. I ordered and had the balloons within a few days. These are what they look like in the package. And this Etsy shop is Girly Gifts. I'm going to link her her link down below. And it's not that I'm trying to be cheap. It's just I'm a person who's like reasonable and I just, wherever I can save money, I'm going to save. I would rather spend money on experiences. So if I can save X amount of dollars on my daughter's first birthday I'd rather use X amount of dollars to go to the zoo or go to a trampoline park or do something where like I can make a memory and that's just why I am making this video because you may be that type of person you may be the person who really does not have the funds whatever the case is of why you want to save money isn't it just smart to save money so I don't know I feel like I didn't have to say that but there it is. I'm just telling you, don't feel bad for watching this video and trying to save money on your little one's birthday because it don't, it doesn't need to cost a thousand dollars. The next thing that I wanted to save money on, but I still wanted to keep super cute was her outfits. This outfit you may see everywhere because I'm in a few mom groups and it feels like everyone who's turned or every little girl that's turning one has this tutu in some variation of color. But this is her tutu we used for her smash cake photo shoot. Um, I forgot how much it is. I think it's like $15. Then the next outfit is also from Amazon. To go better with her aesthetic, I wanted something that was white or cream. And this is just so cute. The back. And this is what she's going to be wearing on her birthday. So her photo shoot. I really wanted to hire a photographer. Everything in me wanted to justify three, four hundred dollars on a photographer. And I respect photographers. I do because I love our photographer that did our wedding photos and I would love to do family photos. I just don't have photographer money right now and we're in the middle of buying a house and I don't need to explain this. I don't know why I'm doing that again. I'm sorry. So I have this nice Canon N50 with a basic lens. It's not going to look like a photographer photo. I will tell you that much. And I knew that right off the rip, but I said, okay, I'm going to try to do my own photos. I got a white sheet. I hung it up on the wall. I got my ring light, but honestly I could have done without it. Just natural light. It was good enough. And I got a cake stand from Walmart, 19, 20 bucks. And then her cake. So when it came to her cake, I did get quoted like $70 for a six inch cake. And I needed it times two because I needed one for her photo shoot and one for her actual birthday. To me, if other people were eating it, if we had a birthday party, maybe, maybe. 
but this is going to end up on the floor, okay? Like, a one-year-old's going to throw it in their mouth for two seconds, and that's it, okay? So, everything in me was like, no, ma'am. I got a DIY decorating kit from Amazon, and I'll link that down below as well. I'm just going to link everything. That's just a given, right? Um, I got a DIY cake decorating thing mabob from amazon i got six inch cake pans from walmart and two of them were eight dollars i'll link that down below what else did i get store bought icing okay box cake and times that by two and I made it, and I'm going to tell you, it turned out pretty dang good, okay? I'm not going to toot my own horn, but I'm going to toot my own horn. It per- it turned out pretty good. I didn't want to pay money for really nice flowers that were just going to get smashed and thrown away. So I went to the Dollar Tree. <laughs> I'm laughing because I feel like I've said Dollar Tree like six times through- during this video. But I went to the Dollar Tree, and I got, you know how they have, they have the little flower wall? I got two different types of flowers, and I just cut them put it on top and it looked like a professional cake okay it looked really good so I'll post her photos somewhere here and you'll see how they turned out and I think they turned out really really good and it was it was almost free 99 it was super cheap okay so if you can afford a photographer do it I'm all for it go all out but if you're this far into the video I'm pretty sure you're just trying to figure out how you're going to make your little one's birthday so special without it costing a ton if you made it this far into the video i just want to say do not feel bad for trying to save money whether you have the money and just don't want to spend it or you have the money and you want to spend it on something else something better like an experience or if you really are on a budget and don't have the money like i don't have a dog for money so you know, I'm gonna do what I can to make my daughter's first birthday feel super special, special without digging myself into a hole, without pretending like I have money when I don't. So all I gotta say, mama, is that you're doing the best that you can. You love your child way better than anyone else can, and you got this, okay? If you need tips, if you need help, don't be afraid to reach out to me. My Instagram's down below. My messages are always open for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you no matter what theme you're going for. I hope some of these tips and tricks at least help you think outside the box and maybe look for something different and not have to think that you have to spend a bunch of money because you don't. You don't. And your little one has the best mama in the entire, entire world. You're doing amazing and I hope to see you guys on the next one.